airplanes, the swift camels of the sky. For thousands of years, humanity has gazed at airplanes and wondered how they stay up there. Are they good or evil? What do they smell like? Well, get ready to hijack the cockpit of information right now on Learn Attack. Look outside and tell me what you see. Go on, I'll give you a few moments. Welcome back. Did you see an airplane? You did? Fantastic. We're off to a good start. Inventors have long tried to copy the way birds fly. Early attempts at aviation centered on tying a rope to the fender of a Ford and trying to toss a grappling hook around the neck of a passing vulture. Even as far back as the Renaissance, Leonardo da Vinci realized that flying would be fucking cool and drew a sketch of what it would look like if a king gave a flying person a thumbs up. It wasn't until the Wright brothers found an airplane in the woods that humanity finally learned how to fly. But enough history. How do planes work? The secret behind flight is overhead bins. By cramming your suitcase into the luggage compartment, you're putting pressure on the airplane's roof to push it up higher. Birds and planes are very similar, except birds have an anus and planes have a penis. Scientists call this the bird-plane difference. Exactly how fast can airplanes go? Let me put it this way. Imagine this golf ball represents traveling 10 miles per hour. This basketball would represent the top running speed of a cheetah. This jump rope represents the speed of a basketball shot out of a cannon. Now, multiply three basketballs times two jump ropes, divided by a golf ball squared minus basketball over bowling pin, and that's how fast an airplane travels. Neat, huh? One of the most famous people to ride in an airplane is actor Mike Myers. And here's another fact. God can't tell planes and helicopters apart. And that's why there is only one word for the both of them in his language. Scarlong. Cool. Air travel is incredibly safe. To make sure an airplane is safe, the FAA bangs twice on the hull. If it sounds pretty solid, it's good to go. In fact, airplanes are so safe that if you aren't in a plane right now, you're probably going to die. I haven't even mentioned the best thing about planes. You can use them to go to Hawaii or to run over a pedophile. Yep, airplanes are definitely the real deal. In the words of famed aviator Amelia Earhart, there is no greater thrill than taking off down the runway, lifting up into the air, and looking down at the angry mob that ran you out of town for eating all their livestock. Until next time, I've been David, and you just got attacked.